you know, another thing that's really important that individuals just blindly, uh, carelessly allow is your money. You give money, you know, you, you know, to different organizations, religious organizations, to different religious people. You don't know what they do with that money. You don't know who they are, first of all. You don't know who they are. Because so many of them, they, they delve into a darker side. So they'll pray over the money and direct things back to you, even to say, oh, yeah, this money, let this person never stop giving me money. Or, you know, they just say various, do uh, various rituals and or spells over uh, whatever you give them. It could, it could be monetary. It could be various gifts because it's not just money that individuals give to religious leaders. Um, so I, which I, I, you know, I'm very aware of that. So, but yeah, you don't know these people and you don't know what they're able and capable of doing. So be very prayerful when you're giving money and gifts to individuals because, you know, make sure that, because the Bible tells us that we are to be cheerful givers. You know, you give from your heart, but why are you really giving? Are you giving to to for the to get close to the person? What's your motive? What's your agenda for doing it? Are you just, you know what, you know, because, you know, not that your gifts and money should just be given to people who are needy, but the person should have a need. You know, what is the need exactly? And is it a, a bona fide need? Is it something that's genuine, you know? Uh, you know, and again, you have to be careful. Did God lead you to give that money to someone and how much of it, you know, because I remember the days they would just ask, you know, ask for different things. We need chairs. We need new instruments. Uh, we need this. We need that. We need this. We need that. But also outside of that, individuals just feel like, oh, this is my leader. I'm going to give them something. You know, I just want to bless them or whatever, you know, and then or you got this agenda where I, I'm a so in today life because I want this and I want that. That's too. That's a double minded person, because if anybody you so into, it should be to God. And that sowing should be of of praise and worship. Not really expecting anything back. Well, I shouldn't say not expecting because I want something from God. I always want something from God because, you know, every all day, every day, I need him. <laughs> uh, but, you know, a lot of times you do things wrongly out of the wrong heart and spirit. And because of necessity, because and because they begged you for it or or lied to you, manipulated you. Oh, you want you want a blessing? You want a baby? You want a husband? You want a job? You want a house? You want a car? You want this sickness to leave you? You want your children to this? You want this? You want that? You want that money? You want this? You want that? And of course, you, you think you playing the lottery or something. So you give, give your scratch. You give gifts to them, sowing in quotes, so that you can get a, a blessing from God or whatever, whoever. That's the wrong way to do things. So I just want to throw that out there. Make us aware of that. You don't know what they do with that money that you have given to them or the gift if it's something that's not monetary. Because some people are very wicked. They're evil. They have their pans in different pots of wickedness. And they will pray over that money and put a spell on it, and and which is a spell on you to make you keep giving or to just dr drain you to take your husband, to take your wife. So many people have so many evil agendas, and I've seen so many of them. You know, you think this is a leader uh, of a, uh, this religious leader of, of, excuse me, you think this is a religious leader of this religious organization and they're, you know, you don't think, oh, they're holy. You just think, oh, they're a person of this, but you don't think about the holiness. You got to start 
uh, examining people on their holiness, okay? Compare them to God, uh, to Jesus, is or to and to, and or the uh, apostles, uh, apostles. Um, you know, is are they really a holy person? You know, of course, you only see what you see. You know what I'm saying is because people can hide it. But you got to know what holiness is. Because a lot of people, they think holiness is something they're wearing, uh, something they're saying, and, and you know, just crazy stuff. And I know somebody will be like, well, you always talking about somebody lipstick. And I know what I'm saying, though. And I know what it's attributed to. I'm not saying it to put the person down. I'm trying to let you also see that there is wrong in some of that because, you know, it has its 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 origins in different places. And when someone is doing certain things, they're luring you. They want to be seductive. They want to capture you, capture your virtue. It's so many things behind that, you know, and it's just, it's just ungodly. First, you know, it's ungodly. You know, a lot of things that people do and wear and all of that. It's just ungodly. It's ungodliness. And you'll say it's uh, it's beautiful. It's not beautiful. With your spiritual karo karo, which is your eyes, it's not beautiful. It's not beautiful at all. It's not beautiful. It's not holy. It's not good. You know, and anyone that, that's walking around like that, it's not a good person to follow. Because it, and if you look in the, in, in the Old and the New Testament, you won't see such things. Of course, Esther, uh, well, that was a different situation, you know, uh, and you know, whatnot. But you better believe that Deborah, Hannah, Anna, uh, Lydia, different women of the Bible, Mary, the, the Marys and the Marthas were not made up like that. And the Moses and the Abrahams and the Peters and the Pauls and and and, and Stevens and, and, and James and those were not walking around looking like the muscle men and the, the uh with the the, the uh provocative haircuts and clothing and uh, uh fragrances and the tra all the trappings you wouldn't you don't that trust that they did not and and Jesus excuse me let me not leave Jesus out nor Jesus was walking around like that you know you know you you know uh, although you know I know you know they you know they were you know like David and people and they were attractive people but they were not people who were. Uh, set setting setting out to attract individuals to them for the wrong reason. Well, of course, David has fallen before, but I'm not. Well, that's not what I mean. But <laughs> oh boy! So you know, yeah. So be wise and be careful out here. Giving sowing seeds in your in quotes to everybody and. Giving gifts, I gotta give my pastor something or other people that you visit, you know, or, or because they pray for you or something like that. Yeah, you can't buy God or buy nothing from God. The Bible tells us to buy the truth and sell it not. Okay, but you can't, you know, that's when you, if you're going to be doing that, you going, that's going, that's again, going into deep, different avenues of witchcraft. You know, you go on the soothsayers and people who can give you answers to something. Okay, so you paying them to look in crystal balls and all kinds of waters and things like that to give you answers and riches and all kinds of stuff. Come on now, you got to be careful, Christian, Christian. You know, seek not yet repose, watch and pray. You know, so we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.